Earlier this year, we covered the most anticipated factory games of 2023, but many of you hit the comments with other logistic games that we should check out, and I'll be honest, I was surprised at some of them. So here's an updated list for the rest of 2023, as well as some worthwhile mentions for people who enjoy logistic games. Again, these should all be either releasing or receiving updates in 2023, so if I didn't mention your suggestions game that might be why but do feel free to suggest them in the comments below once again and perhaps in the next one we'll cover it also a huge thanks does go to today's sponsor war thunder but more on that later now i'll get the big one out of the way first it's satisfactory we've sung its praise and with update 8 out in the experimental branch the game has upgraded to unreal engine 5 and with it we have lumen making the game absolutely stunning it really is well worth checking out with the new lighting just a month ago, Tectonica was released to early access as well, and the game is shaping up really nicely with some much requested quality of life improvements coming to the game in the next few weeks. And speaking of newly released early access games, we also have to mention Desynced, which was released on the 15th of August. This game interestingly takes a whole different approach to automation, with you programming robots to do your bidding, fulfilling all of the logistic roles in your factory, at least in the early game that is. The game has a similar art style to Dyson Sphere as well, so if you are waiting for the Dyson Sphere Dark Fog update, which I haven't heard anything about recently, you may want to check this out for the time being. I'm definitely having a lot of fun with it, and I'm looking forward to sharing more content about it on the channel. Now several of you have also mentioned Astroneer. Now I was unaware of the recent updates, but it is definitely worth a spot here. The sandbox interplanetary exploration game is great solo or with friends. Search out resources, harvest materials, and then set out to build your own base, automating production to help you ascend to new planets. And whilst we're talking about planets, then we should also cover Plan B Terraform. Your goal here is to terraform a lifeless rock into a lush, habitable world through the use of factories and expansive logistic networks that use trains and trucks, something I may well be checking out in the near future. Another game that has quite a dark premise is Atrio The Dark Wild, where you're tasked to keep your disposable android body alive by automating everything in order to relight the world around you. And I'm also aware that the team of Atrio are working on another automation game, which we may hear a little more of in the future, perhaps in next year's Spotlight. We never know. Now there are a few games that really turn the automation factory genre on its side and take a different route, such as desynced and programming like we mentioned earlier. But another worthy mention is Mob Factory. It's a tower defense game that sees you harvesting your opponents in order to produce items to expand your mob factory further. If you enjoy tower defense and automation games, this could be a no-brainer for you. And if, rather than killing mobs, you'd rather be taking on other players, then make sure to check out War Thunder, today's sponsor. It's the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made with over 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters and ships. So you can choose how you want to fight in this dynamic combined arms PvP battle. And every vehicle is intricately detailed, offering a captivating combat experience, whether you're looking for quick action-packed battles or realistic tactical experiences. War Thunder offers various immersion levels for all playstyles, and speaking of immersion, Vehicle damage is like no other. With no general vehicle hit points, vehicles suffer damage to individual components and crew. You'll even see the damage x-ray showing the fatal blow to enemies. And there's nothing I love more than swooping down in a jet and taking out the unsuspecting tanks below. So what are you waiting for? Play War Thunder now for free on PC, Xbox X and S series as well as PlayStation 5 and previous gen consoles today. And if you use my link below, you'll also get a large bonus pack for free featuring multiple premium vehicles, premium account boosters and more. I'll see you on the battleground. 
Of course, if multiplayer isn't your thing, and you're looking for something a little bit more peaceful, you'll no doubt find that in the serene world of Planet Crafter, an exploration and terraforming game which has received several updates throughout the year, including some automation for the production of resources so that you can turn the barren landscape into a breathing world. Stationeers takes on the opposite approach, leaving you in space to build and manage a space station with complex manufacturing and agriculture to deal with. And though the game has been available in early access since 2017, the game is still receiving updates, which you may be interested in checking out. But before we move on to some worthy mentions, we do have one more factory game which we've covered prior. Captain of Industry was released to early access this year and has received its first major update, including improvements to graphics, automated harvesting and planting of trees. There's new terraforming options and 14 new machines to play with. It's definitely worth keeping an eye out for. Now, let's talk about the worthy options. So we have Minecraft with the various automation odd mods. This was something that was mentioned a lot, and one of the mods that particularly stands out to me is Create. But there are plenty out there worth checking out, so if you are into modding and Minecraft, do check that out. We also have Shapes 2, which we mentioned in the last video, and I've certainly been very excited for this. They actually just released the reveal trailer and it looks incredible. I am so excited for this. But it does look like we're going to have to be waiting until at least 2024 to get our hands on it. And finally, many of you mentioned Foundry. Similar to Minecraft but built with automation at its heart from the get-go, it's currently in alpha preview. That being said, it will be coming to Steam soon, so keep an eye out for that as well. So there you are over 10 automation games with updates this year to check out for the rest of 2023. Let me know what you'll be playing first in the comments below. I know I'm going to be busy with Starfield and City Skylines 2 for the next couple of months, but I promise if there's any outpost logistics or industries to play around with, I'll be covering it on here, along with more automation games, so make sure to subscribe if you do enjoy my content. Special thanks does go to our sponsor War Thunder for today's video, but also to our amazing supporters over on Patreon. Without them, we couldn't continue creating content, most notably our solo Clips patrons James Irwin, Fireflesh, and Trevor, as well as our Lunas, the Calamity, Ben, Star, that dude, AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is the Souch and Husky. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.